All right, so I have a thing for luxuriously large coupes and convertibles with powerful engines. Now, it would be nice if I could afford one, but as you can see by my subscriber count, I'm not there yet. Okay, I'm not even close. But I have to say, there is probably nothing out there that is better than what I'm driving here today. This thing is insanely comfortable when you want to go for a long cruise. At the same time, it's got some serious power. My name is Omar and this is the 2023 BMW M850i. Alright, so the 8 Series, you can get this absolutely gorgeous BMW in three different body styles including the coupe, the convertible like the one I'm driving here, and the Grand Coupe which is BMW's way of saying a sloping roofline sedan. It also comes in three different flavors including the Base 840i, the M850i, and the M8 Competition. And lucky for you, I've driven all three of them. The M850i that I'm driving here is what's known as the sweet spot in the lineup. It's not as slow as the 840i and it isn't as hardcore as the M8 competition. In fact, this is much closer to the M8 than it is to the 840i. Under the hood, you have a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 making 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. And when you have this maxed out in the Sport Plus mode and you hit the gas, this thing takes off right away. And it sounds absolutely amazing there are snap crackle and pops all over the place so how quick is it well that twin turbo v8 will send the m850i convertible from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds if you go for the coupe that will hit 60 in 3.5 seconds the m8 competition convertible on the other hand will do 60 in 3.1 seconds while the coupe will do it in three seconds flat so which 8 series should you go for should you keep some money in your account and go for the 840i should you stick with the sweet spot the m850i or should you just stop spending money on everything else and add on a huge payment for the M8 competition? Let's find out. Let me give you a tour of the updated 2023 8 series and then we'll get back out on the road and I'll tell you which 8 series you should go for. All right, let's go do this. All right, so let's kick it off like we always do by talking about how much this costs because if you see one of these on the roads, you better believe that that driver works really hard to afford one. So the 8 Series starts at $87,500 for the 840i Coupe and $97,100 for the 840i Convertible. Then you have the M850i starting at $102,500 for the Coupe and $112,100 for the Convertible, like the one I'm driving here. But if you want to go all out and get the M8 Competition, you'll be working with the starting price tag of $134,100 for the Coupe and $143,700 for the Convertible. As tested here, this M850i convertible carries a final price tag of $122,520. That said, the BMW 8 Series has been on sale for about four years now, so it hasn't needed much updating, but for 2023, BMW did add some upgrades here and there. Let's start with the outside. The overall design and luxurious appeal of the 8 Series is still there, but now for 2023, the 8 Series gets a new grille with redesigned vertical bars that have a U-shape to them. Not to mention it gets the BMW illuminated kidney grille as standard, so this thing looks awesome when you walk up to it, unlock it, and when you're inside, but once you start moving, the illuminated kidney grille disappears. That said, the BMW M Sport package is also standard with the shadow line exterior trim, so there's less of a chrome look all around, but you can add on chrome for $0. I don't know why you'd want to, it looks much better blacked out. And then you have two new 20 inch wheel designs that you can upgrade to. I really like the ones on my test model here. Other than that, as standard, you get 19 inch wheels. But yeah, beyond that, in my opinion, this is still one of the most beautiful cars in BMW's lineup and one of the most beautiful in the segment. That said, the only thing I'm probably not that crazy about is that all non-real M models are now getting the M mirrors, which, why? Other than that, for 2023, BMW has added a few new color options on the 8 Series, including this skyscraper gray metallic, which looks perfect with this marine blue top. Oh, and of course, since this is an M850i, we have to listen to that exhaust sound, so let's take a listen. <laughs> Now, hop inside the M850i and you'll find this interior to be nothing short of luxurious and very high quality. This is an outstanding place to be. As standard, most of this cabin is wrapped in really, really nice Napa leather. My test model is colored in this beautiful ivory and blue, and I gotta say, this combo looks absolutely stunning. Even the steering wheel is colored in night blue to match everything going on here, and it's fantastic. 
My test model also has the upgraded glass controls for an extra $650, which gives you handmade diamond cut glass trims on the shifter, the start and stop button, and the iDrive controller. Now, as standard, you get heated front seats along with heated armrests, which is really nice, and you also get a heated steering wheel. And I believe ventilated seats might be standard on the M850i, but not on the 840i. Now, the one benefit of having the convertible over the coupe is the ease of getting into the back seat. You just pull this latch right here, and the front seat will slide forward, making way for you to climb in. And since the top is down, you can just kind of hop in here. And once you sit down back here and let the seat come back, it will bounce off your knees and move forward. So if your driver is tall, they're going to have some issues and they're gonna to wanna to sit further back, which is not good for your knees. So leg room in the back obviously is kind of tight. That said, let's talk about tech. For 2023, the 8 Series now gets this upgraded larger 12.3 inch center display that houses the iDrive infotainment system. It doesn't receive the new single skateboard style screen just yet. I'm guessing that will come after a redesign. So for now, it's everything you probably already know about iDrive. You get standard wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You also have the native navigation system and much more. Driver assist tech wise, you have all the collision and assistance that you'll need. My test model has the upgraded driver assistance package for an extra $100, which is pretty cheap. And that gives you blind spot monitoring, parking assistant plus, so this can automatically park itself and back out of a spot. It also gives you a 360 camera along with 3D surround view, so definitely recommend that option for just $100. And then really quick, you have the same digital gauge cluster display that you have on other BMW models. Of course, this will eventually be swapped out once the 8 Series gets a major refresh with the new iDrive 8 system. And then as standard, you have a Harman Kardon sound system, but my test model has the upgraded Bowers & Wilkin sound system for an extra $3,400, and it sounds really, really nice. You have a few different sound profiles that you can pick from, and of course, the concert mode is definitely my personal favorite. Let's check out the cargo space. You can pop up in the trunk by using a button located right underneath the BMW logo. And if cargo space is of concern to you, don't get the convertible because, yeah, not much room. All right, so before I give you my opinion on how the BMW M850i drives, let me point out a few important daily ownership highlights that I'll have to show all of you. You have only two cup holders. You don't have any cup holders in the back because nobody should be back there anyway. Here are the keys to the M850i, same old BMW key with the M stripes right there. Door closed sound from the outside and the inside. BMW solid. Charging game-wise in the front, you're working with a wireless charger and a USB-A port right there. You've also got a USB-C port in the center armrest. Rear passengers get nothing because, again, they shouldn't be back there. And, of course, let's do an indicator and horn sound test. Indicator first. Same old BMW indicator. Now for the horn sound. Oh, yeah. Very solid. All right, so even though I'm driving this convertible, and it's absolutely gorgeous, I myself would go for the coupe or the Grand Coupe. I don't hate convertibles, I just think the open top life isn't for me. That said, let's talk about the different 8 series trims. The 840i makes 335 horsepower from a turbocharged 6 cylinder and hits 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. It's the most affordable 8 series you can get with a starting price tag of $87,500 for the coupe. Now, if you're about that V8 life, you'll have to go for the M850i or the M8. The M850i starts at around $102,000, while the M8 Competition starts at around $134,000, so that's a difference of $31,000. Is that extra thirty-one dollars worth it? We've already discussed 0 to 60 times for both, but there is more to performance than just how fast it can accelerate. Having driven both, I can tell you the difference is nominal. Yes, the 617 horsepower M8 Competition is a real M car that's slightly more hardcore, but as daily drivers, there's not much difference. I will say this, most M cars tend to be much more aggressive than their non-M counterparts, but not here. I remember my experience with the M8 being just as comfortable as this M850i, and that's because these are both outstanding Grand Tourers. No one buying an 8 Series is really serious about tracking them. If they are into that track life, they'll be better off in an M2, M3, or M4. An 8 Series belongs out on the open road where you can really push this. And when it comes to that, the M850i is perfect. You don't have to go through and set up every single attribute like the suspension, the steering, and the braking like you do in an M8. You just pop it into Sport Plus mode, hit the gas, and this thing takes the F off. This feels just as quick as the M8 competition, at least to me. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't go for the M8. If you have the money, more power to you. Go ahead and show it off. 
I just think that the difference in between the overall ownership experience is very little for you to pay an extra $31,000 for it. The overall drive, the handling, the luxury, it's all very similar for these two. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I could afford an M8 competition, I would certainly get that, but I can't even afford this M850i. I mean, I could, I would just have to cut out everything else I enjoy in my life, like clothing and food. That said, the 8 Series is definitely one of my favorite cars in the past few years. It's one of the most beautiful BMWs out right now, and it hasn't received a crazy grill yet. I'm sure it's coming, but for now we're safe. This thing has all the luxury and elegance that you would expect at this price tag. And this 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 in the M850i and the M8 is fabulous. The power delivery is so smooth and so instant. This thing moves with a lot of grace and refinement. If you're out there in the market for the perfect Grand Tourer, I envy you, I really do, because the 8 Series has everything you want and then some. And if you're facing the predicament of either going for the M850i or the M8 competition, hit me up because I want to learn how I can get myself to the point where I have to make that decision. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care. Peace. Really? Peace. God, it's so good. This is the most comfortable sports car. Well, one of the most comfortable, but my favorite most comfortable sports car out there right now. By the way, one thing I do want to point out is that if you want to hear the snap, crackle, and pops in the M850i, you have to have it in Sport Plus mode and move the transmission into Sport mode as well. And then you'll hear it all day. Every time you let go of the accelerator, you'll hear it snap, crackle, and pop. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm just enjoying that. And I'm enjoying this speed. I want one of these things so bad. Just makes me want to work really hard and have one. Food, clothing, or M850i. I think M850i just, just seems to be the wiser decision.